Cancer, hello there my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for mid to late July 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's going on for the lovely Cancerians out there. I hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic my friends. Let's shuffle it up one time. See what we got for the Cancer Collective here. My guides, talk to me. <coughs> And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock. And while we get this first card out, I would like to wish you all once again a very happy birthday. I know we're getting towards the back end of cancer season. So I'm hoping you all had a fantastic birthday. Let's get it going here. Let's get this first card out for my friends. And there it is. Yeah, the prototypical water sign type of energy showing up for you. And this is usually a very common thing at the beginning of my readings. Very dreamy, very etheric. You see the person there in their PJs. It's always interesting when it pops out, especially for a water sign. Now, before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the July subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk about it. So we see this individual. They're wearing the PJs, the nightcap, eyes closed. Looks like they're taking a bit of a snooze. There's nonsensical things happening here. The background is etheric. There's literally dream catchers. So first and foremost, we have to think of sleep. Are you getting a proper amount of rest, my friends? Are you having a little insomnia? Are you sleeping a little too much? All these things could be at play when this card shows up. Aside from literal matters of sleep and spirit highlighting the nighttime, this card could speak of the imaginative capabilities that water signs have, specifically Cancerians, very deep emotional waters for you, my friends. And spirit might be asking you to really let that out into the physical world. Take it out of the etheric, put it into the material. If you're feeling very emotional recently or very creative, that's a very good thing. No matter how the creation spills out of you, whether it's music, whether it's different types of arts, writing, it's all very positive and very good for you and the world around you. So we're just going to put this down right here. Very interesting. I would say at the very least, a lot of you, your minds might be a little more active than normal. But let's just put that over there. I always say the first card doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a footnote. But yeah, let's get on into tarot here. Let's shuffle it up, get you three cards in the upright before we get into the intuitive stuff. Let's see what's going on for my Cancerians, please, my gods. What do we got? While we get this deck ready, I just want to let everyone know this community is about to reach a very nice milestone. We're about to hit 100K here in our community. So I just want to thank you all for that. Just please, in the next coming days, watch the feed. I'll be putting out a poll to see how we could celebrate this together because I think it's worth it, right? But let's get into the reading. Enough about all that. Last week's reading was very nice. It's the type of reading you want to receive generally in your birthday season. It was titled The Big Surprise. So I'm hoping a lot of you had some really nice surprises. Now, of course, that could swing both ways, but it was feeling really good. So we're going to hope to keep that good positive energy going. We're going to go with the flow regardless. Let's get you three in the upright. And as you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're connected to. Let's get you three cards. What do we got for the Cancerians? Okay, yeah, more of this water sign type of energy here. We have the High Priestess. A lot of people link this to Pisces, but I don't just give her to the Pisces Collective. I give her to all the water signs. Okay, very spiritually tapped in with the High Priestess. Let's get you two more. Interesting card, very intuitive, very deep. And I've been picking, yeah, another card. All these cards are kind of indicative of the nighttime. We have the star, very positive for the future, my friends. A lot of you could be very future focused in this time. Let's get you one more. Like it, so far we're feeling okay. All right, so we're looking at a journey here, my friends, because on the back end, we have ourselves the world card. So we have a lot of very powerful energies at play here. They're all major arcana, as you notice. Let's go through, I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into the intuitive stuff and try to get more detail here. But if you kindly look in the box, you'll see what I'm seeing. Uh, at first look, first glance, all major arcana, all very powerful archetypes sweeping through right here. We have the future, we have like an end goal possibly right here on the back end with the world. Super intuitive vibes here. Let's go through it one by one and really break it down. Now in position number one, we have the High Priestess. Like I already stated, a lot of people link this to the Pisces Collective. I give it to all the water signs. So in my style reading, this could represent you when we clarify it. 
The High Priestess is the matron of psychics, intuitives, tarot readers, all that stuff that we love if we're part of this community. The High Priestess could represent the unknown, the unexpected, spiritual knowledge, deep esoteric knowledge. She is all about ritual and deep spiritualism. So it is connected kind of with that etheric type of energy and etheric realm. So I do also say your intuition could be very sensitive in this time. So whether it's the energy of other people affecting you or places, you're, you might be very much more in tune than normal when this high priestess card shows up or your gut might be trying to tell you something when she shows up. Very interesting way to start this reading because it could literally just be as simple as representing you, but it could be a lot of those other themes. Now, as we move forward through the reading in the center, we have... The star card, beautiful energy of wish fulfillment generally. When I see the star, this is the one that links to the Aquarius Collective. Maybe you have Aquarius placements, if not, and it's not an Aquarius in your life. When I see the star, I think of the distance, something that's down the road, a shining light at the end of the tunnel. This is a beautiful angelic card of hope in a brighter day. It's very positive, extremely optimistic. So whenever I see it in a reading, I love it to start before we clarify it. This is a big card of wish fulfillment. So when we see the star, we think of wishes. We think of wins, victories, triumphs of various different kinds. So the clarifier for this is going to be very, very important. And I could say the same for all these cards because Major Arcana are extremely powerful archetypes that affect our lives in powerful ways. And as you see here, there's a lot of them to show. Now, on the back end, we have the world. That's why I said we're possibly seeing a journey. A lot of you might have your mind in the future like what's the end goal what's the end result where do i want to go or how is this going to turn out M big interest in like psychic and tarot reading here if that's the place you're in but when we see the world <clears throat> we think of a completion of a journey the end of a journey so yes this card could represent endings and closings i i don't feel like it's necessarily a bad one here i just feel for a lot of you you might just be in long-term mode or spirit could be asking you to do so if you do have some things closing out, it could be represented here or things ending. When we see the world, it's angelic as well. So you see all these very powerful spiritual energies coalescing in the spread this week. The world can also represent karma. So whether it's a karmic warning of some sort, karmic cycles, karmic rewards, karmic lessons, we'll just have to clarify to see what's up. And literally, when I see the world, I think of possible world events or somebody very focused on what's happening in the world today okay so you might be watching the news a little more you might be scrolling through your news feed a little more and i would always advise not to let that wind you up when this card shows up but let's dive deeper on all the cancer let's jump in and clarify all right we're gonna get a good shuffle here for you my friends let's see what's up for the cancerians please Gods and Spirit Team. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that High Priestess here. Let's see what this intuition could be telling us. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Cancer... You could drop it in the comments down below. I don't mind whatsoever. All right, High Priest this time. The deck is acting a little funky here, my friends. It's like not wanting to shuffle. It's not playing nice. So let's see what we got. What do we have for the High Priestess? Either that or the cards are just wanting to spill out here. They want to talk. They have quick, super quick. Yeah, here's this energy of surprise, the unknown. We have the moon card, another card that could represent you and another card that could represent Pisces. Now, in my style, the moon... Like I always say, could it is given to Pisces, but the moon is your ruling luminary as Cancers. So we have two cards that are representing self-confidence, self-worth. Some of you might be going through certain situations now where you're really weighing the pros and cons, or if you have what it takes to do something, can I do this? Or you're really doing a lot of introspection, like studying yourself, going within. There's a lot of that showing up here. However, what does the moon represent? Just like the high priestess, the unknown, the hidden, the surprises. A lot of you might feel it in your gut, like something big is coming down the pipeline. Like there might be some sort of big, like last week's reading, big surprise, a big surprise, or the unexpected. And I want to see if it rains through the rest of this, like 
what we can expect from these surprises, what we can expect from the unexpected. Because right now, up front, it's all about the unknown, the mysterious, the hidden. It's all esoteric right here in the front end, which I find super intriguing. But the fact that it's in the upright is giving me better vibes, okay? There might be a lot of unknowns in all the situations you're going through right now. There could be a lot of things up in the air where you might feel like you're lacking some information. Let's just keep pressing forward, though. I feel like it's all about the unexpected and the unknown. Let's see what flavor we're going to get, though. So what is going on here with that star, please? Thank you. I mean, <laughs> we can't get much better than this, my friends. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I just want to bring your attention to this, Cancer. This is such a powerful reading this week. I only pull six cards, seven when I get a bonus in a main spread. I always like to keep it very trim with the amount of cards that I pull. Five of the six cards thus far are all major arcana. These are extremely powerful energies and archetypes. So Spirit could be asking you to look at things big picture in this time. But we got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright underneath this star. I'm telling you, I said we might be seeing the flavor of these unexpected energies. And this could be very, very, very good. Wish fulfillment, luck swinging in your way. A lot of you could have some sort of big come up or gain in this time. I feel like a lot of you have some unexpected wins in store, unexpected victories in store coming down the pipeline. I would claim these energies for sure because nothing here is giving me rough, scary types of feelings. These are all extremely positive here. Another thing with the Wheel of Fortune, it's another one of my karmic cards, the cards of karmic cycles, journeys, things like that. But this is our four-leaf clover here. Underneath a card like the star, yeah, there, you might be going through changes. Yeah, there might be things changing and there might be a lot of metamorphosis happening, but that's okay because it could all be for the best. Things might turn out way better than you could possibly expect. Okay, we'll see how it will turn out in the end here. Maybe get a little more clarity, but when I get the star in the Wheel of Fortune, this is straightforward and unexpected winner victory here. It's big, and it's extremely, extremely positive. I would say out of all the Zodiac signs I've read for this week, you guys have the most positive, hopeful energy by far compared to everyone. And I've had some positive readings this week. Let's move in on that world card. Then we'll do a quick little recap and get into the shadow. This is, let's see if we could go six for six on Major Arcana here. So why is the world here for my Cancerians, please? What do we got? All right, that card fumbled out too. So what do we got? Yeah, more karmic energy. We, and we did go six for six, my friends. We got the Magician in the upright underneath this world. A lot of you get to manifesting immediately because whatever the end goal is whatever you want to achieve in the end whatever your happy ending is you could really put a lot of energy forth to it with all this power with all these universal and karmic energies that are at play my friends this is the bookend energy to the high priestess the magician the high priestess they're like peanut butter and jelly we're starting the reading off with her we're ending it off with him the divine feminine divine masculine this is all like a yin yang these are all extremely powerful in a very positive way. So when I get the magician underneath the world, it does really tell me, aside from this being karmic, the magician being karmic, that being karmic, there could be big karmic rewards in play for a lot of Cancerians here, depending on what it is you put out into the world. But just know that in this time, your powers of manifesting and creating could be cranked all the way up, my friends. I would always caution people that manifesting is more than just thinking it and hoping that it's going to appear. You do have to put in work. You do have to meet the universe halfway and put action into the equation. But a lot of you could have a lot of control about your end goals, your end journeys, and whatever it is you're wanting to attain. Once again, I'm seeing unexpected wins and victories all over the place here, but you could really have a lot of control in how a situation turns out for you. It might be in your hands here. That's what this tells me. Six for six in Major Arcana. I haven't seen this in such a very long time. And the fact that it's all positive Major Arcana, in my opinion, is just beautiful chef's kiss type of energy. Let's go through and do a quick little recap before we get into the shadow card. Very interesting, extremely positive type of reading this week, Cancer. If you look in the box, position number one, we have the High Priestess and the Moon, both cards that could represent you. So yeah, you're self-confident. You might be going within a lot in this time, doing a lot of self-discovery, getting in tune with yourself and your spiritual side. But this just tells me that there could be a lot of unknowns 
or things that you want to know about and you don't know how this is going to shake out, you don't know how this is going to turn out. Remember what I said here on the back end, but as we move forward, we have the star with the wheel of fortune in the upright. Things spinning in your favor. This is extremely positive energy. It's wish come true. It's dream come true. And I feel like for a lot of you, you might have a lot more unexpected wins and victories than you think coming down the pipeline. Regardless, as we get to the back end, we have the world with the magician in the upright. You have a lot of control and power in how something is going to turn out. So a lot of the situations you're going through, a lot of the situations that are going to come up, your manifesting power is cranked all the way up. I would claim these extremely powerful spiritual energies right now and just put it to use. Meet spirit halfway. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. I haven't quite seen a reading like this before. If I could think back, yes, I've had some that have been all major arcana, but I haven't seen one of this flavor. So let's get into the shadow card. And yes, Cancer, please just screenshot that if you want to look into them more in more detail. But yeah, let's see what's in the shadows for you. I mean, I, we kind of already saw what's in most of the shadows. There's some good things coming. But I always pull a shadow card because I feel like it's introspective. It's like shadow work, so... Or things that you don't quite see. So what's in the shadows for Cancer here? One card real quick. Three of Cups, usually a card of happiness. So if we were to read this on the face, just like I was saying, unexpected wins and victories could still be coming down the pipeline by this Three of Cups, the merriment, the happiness, the celebration. It's beautiful energy, my friends. But the shadow side of this card could be a little bit different. This could represent groups of people around you watching who and what you're giving your energy to. Don't give too much. Don't be too kind. Like I know Cancerians are generally very kind individuals, but don't give too much of yourself to those around you. Another thing with this Three of Cups, it is a card that could represent overindulgence. So in this time, Spirit, Spirit might be saying like, hey, Cancer, don't, don't go too far with any overindulgence, okay? Whether it is eating, whether it's drinking, whatever it might be, just keep everything on an even keel. That's what this says. But either way, in the shadows, this is super positive. But yeah, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the July subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the June subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced in my community tab after this week's Fire and Air Signs readings. But for July, I'll be giving away two copies of the Everyday Witches Tarot. Once again, one of my favorite decks and one of the first ones I ever gave away on this channel. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, two simple things as always, my friends. First, you must be subscribed, which I'm sure you already are. And second, let me know down in the comments out of all the tarot suits, which one has your favorite art style? Is it the swords, wands, pentacles, cups, even the major arcana? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of July, I'll put the winners in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you soon.